from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 9th, 2019. Israel today celebrates its 71st birthday. Yom Ha'atzma'ut celebrations began last night with the annual torch lighting ceremony, marking the sharp transition from the grief and mourning of Yom HaZikaron, Israel's Memorial Day to its fallen, to the pride and joy of its Independence Day. Among the celebrations today, Israel's President Reuven Rivlin, together with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, honored 120 IDF soldiers with commendations for excellence. Later, Netanyahu attended the annual international Bible competition with top prize going to Israeli teenager Yonatan Weissman. Runner-up was American yeshiva student Binyamin Kolchamiro of Short Hills, New Jersey. Israel's Air Force held their annual flyover with a special salute this year to the residents of southern Israel, who came under heavy rocket fire this past weekend from Gaza. The IDF spokesperson's unit said that the IAF decided to hold an additional salute for the residents of the Gaza vicinity and southern communities to express the IDF's appreciation to the residents of the south for their steadfastness and their strength during the recent days of fighting and over the years. Meanwhile, the Jerusalem Post reports that Egyptian intelligence officials arrived in Gaza today for talks with terror groups Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad in an attempt to move forward with the recent reported ceasefire agreement with Israel. Looking now at some other news, authorities at the Auschwitz-Birkenau Museum were shocked this week to discover merchandise being sold online bearing photos of the death camp. The museum tweeted at online vendor Redbubble, who allows customers to create their own designs to sell, do you really think that selling such products as pillows, miniskirts, or tote bags with the images of Auschwitz, a place of enormous human tragedy where over 1.1 million people were murdered, is acceptable? The Australian-based company replied that the content was not acceptable and was taking immediate action to remove it. The Algemeiner reports that student leaders at Williams College in Massachusetts have denied official recognition to a pro-Israel student group. School paper The Williams Record said that on April the 23rd, the college council voted 13 to 8 with one abstention against recognizing Williams Initiative for Israel as an RSO, an official registered student organization, over accusations against Israel regarding treatment of the Palestinians. Williams President Maud Mandel said she was disappointed by the vote and that it was made on political grounds, which she said is not a criterion for recognition. She said the group will still be able to operate on campus, and it should also be noted that the school's Students for Justice in Palestine chapter does have RSO status. Well, a Swedish-Israeli astronaut is heading to space for the first time. NASA announced last month that Jessica Mayer will be participating in her first mission this fall. The 41-year-old was born to a Swedish mother and an Iraqi-Israeli father and grew up identifying as Jewish. She will be the fourth Jewish woman to be part of a space mission. Mayer will be bringing an Israeli flag with her when she co-pilots a Russian Soyuz spacecraft launching from Kazakhstan to the International Space Station on September the 25th. Well, New York City's skyline had its own salute to Israel. The spire of One World Trade Center and the Kosciuszko Bridge were lit in blue and white last night as per New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's directive. The governor said One World Trade Center's breathtaking spire calls to mind the resilience New York and Israel share. The Kosciuszko Bridge reflects the progress and boldness that characterize the joint New York and Israeli spirit. And our special programming for Israel Independence Day continues tonight on JBS, Thursday, May the 9th, including at 8 o'clock an overview of Israel's history, at 9 a special interview with the late Abba Eban, who recounts the dramatic moments leading up to the creation of the modern Jewish state. At 10, Rafael Madoff speaks about the play A Flag is Born. And coming up right after this newscast tonight, JBS President Mark Gollop hosts a celebration of Yom Ha'atzma'ut with videos and clips of JBS programming reflecting the miracle of Israel and the enormous pride and love the Jewish people have for the Jewish state.
And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 9th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader. Happy Israel Independence Day. Chag Sameach.